हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ शहनाज एंड वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल नर्सेज द हार्ट ऑफ हेल्थ केयर द थीम ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज वन ऑफ द सीरियस कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड पोटेंशियली लाइफ थ्रेटनिंग मेडिकल कंडीशन दैट इज शॉक बिफोर मूविंग टू द एक्चुअल टॉपिक आई वुड रियली अप्रिशिएट इफ यू ऑल सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड इफ यू फाइंड द कंटेंट हेल्पफुल एंड यूजफुल देन प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर माई वीडियोज as i said we are going to learn about shock in this video it is neither about the electrical shock nor about the emotional or psychological shock which is a non medical shock in this video we are going to learn about the medical shock okay that is physiological shock okay so what is shock let us see what is the definition in this video we will learn what is shock what is the why it is called a medical emergency what are the causes of shock and we'll also try and understand the pathophysiology of shock okay so first one what is shock shock is defined as a condition in which the systemic blood pressure is inadequate to deliver oxygen and nutrients to support the vital organs and cellular function there it become very complex let's make it little simple shock is nothing but it's a condition it's a potentially life threatening condition which arises when the tissues in the body do not receive sufficient blood flow as a result of problems with the circulatory system in other words what we can say it as shock is a whole body circulatory failure okay we can compare it with ischemia as we can see here on the screen see in ischemia what happens is See in ischemia as well as in shock there is decreased blood flow to the tissues but in ischemia as you can see here the coronary artery is blocked because of the atherosclerosis or whatever is the reason then the part to which it supplies will the blood supply is cut off to that area okay blood supply lack of blood supply means lack of oxygen and the nutrients then what happens that parts gets into ischemia okay the cells and the tissues over there starts dying and do not do not function properly whereas in shock what happens is there is a decreased blood flow to the tissues in the entire body okay which causes cellular damage lack of blood flow means lack of oxygen and nutrients okay so the cells cannot function properly and they eventually uh, start dying okay so this is a whole body circulatory failure in shock the entire body is involved multiple organs are involved okay so this is shock so what is shock shock is a failure of the circulatory system to supply sufficient blood to the peripheral tissues to meet the basic metabolic requirements for oxygen and nutrients and the incomplete removal of the metabolic waste from the affected tissues okay so shock is a state which arises when there is insufficient blood flow to the tissues of the body now why shock is called a medical emergency okay why treating the patient in shock identifying the signs and symptoms stabilizing the patient knowing the cause and treating the patient is very important because shock is a complex continuous and progressive disorder okay it is called a medical emergency because the signs and symptoms can worsen rapidly okay and uh, the person goes from one stage to other stage the symptoms can worsen rapidly and if they do not receive the treatment at appropriate time it can be fatal okay so that's the reason shock is a medical emergency we have to know this fact about the shock that is shock is not a disease in fact it's a clinical manifestation of the body's inability to perfuse its tissues adequately shock is a clinical manifestation of circulatory failure in other words what we can say is shock is uh, what we say systemic response or we can say it's a defense response to an illness okay it's a defense response to an illness or injury resulting in inadequate tissue perfusion okay so shock is a syndrome which is characterized by signs and symptoms okay which need to be identified and the patient need to be stabilized and they need to receive the treatment as per the cause so that they can be saved otherwise they can get into a fatal condition which is uh, or they can get into an irreversible stage which is very fatal okay 
so this is shock then next let us learn about the causes of shock okay actually causes of shock and the types of shock we can study together but types of shock will make a separate video of it okay so in this uh, let us learn the causes of shock it can be caused by any injury or condition that affects the flow of blood okay throughout our body okay so shock can lead to multiple organ failure as well as the life threatening complications so as we can see here shock can occur because of any trauma okay shock can occur because of any trauma which leads to bleeding okay the bleeding it can be internal bleeding or external bleeding okay internal gi bleeding or external bleeding as you can see in case of trauma road traffic accidents or in case uh, of postpartum hemorrhage also we can say okay so shock can occur because of the hemorrhage which can be the result of trauma or it can be the result of dehydration or heat stroke shock can also be caused because of blood loss allergic reactions to any medication or food or the venom then poisoning shock can also occur because of the severe burns shock can also occur because of cardiac problems okay that means there is a pathology lying in the heart itself okay the heart is weak the contractility will be less then there will be less stroke volume less cardiac output which causes low i mean systemic hypotension okay then shock can also be a result of renal diseases so there are different uh, causes of shock which can be of cardiac origin or non cardiac origin okay as we can see here severe burns hemorrhage severe dehydration myocardial infarction myocardial uh, what we say cardiac arrhythmias cardiac tamponade pulmonary embolism and they can be non cardiac reasons also like infections which can be bacterial or viral or fungal or it can be because of severe allergic reaction to any food or medications so these are the causes of shock then next let us try and understand the pathophysiology of shock so before understanding the pathophysiology of shock it is important for us to understand some basic things okay as we know that cells in our body are what we say every cell the cells are the building blocks of our body okay and every cells and tissues in our body they require oxygen glucose water and amino acids for metabolism and through metabolism they produce energy in the form of atp that is adenosine triphosphate and they also release water and some waste material that will be excreted out so every cells and tissues i mean all the cells and tissues in our body requires oxygen and nutrients for their basic metabolic requirement that is their basic metabolic requirement which is supplied through blood okay so lack of blood supply when the blood flow is decreased inadequate to meet this basic metabolic requirement of oxygen and nutrients then what happens the cells will go into hypoxia okay tissue hypoxia or cell hypoxia okay then the problem arises okay so now let us try and understand the pathophysiology see as we can see here the blood supplies the tissues and the cells with water glucose amino acids and the oxygen for their basic metabolic requirement and then the cells and tissues they undergo metabolism aerobic metabolism and they produce energy and uh, the by products are carbon dioxide okay so now let us see this tissue perfusion depends upon three p's okay we have to know this three p's of tissue perfusion that is p for pump p for pipes and p for plasma when these three p's are okay then they will the tissue perfusion will be adequate okay if there is a problem in any of these three p's then the tissue perfusion is inadequate which leads to other problems so as we can see here uh, in pump that means if as we know that heart is our pumping machine in the body okay so if there is a problem in the heart if there is a problem in our heart okay that means the heart is weak because of myocardial infarction or valvular disease or congestive heart failure or because of any reason if the heart is weak then the contractility of the heart will be poor 
then there will be decreased stroke volume decreased cardiac output and decreased systemic blood pressure okay then second one if there is a problem in the pipes that means in the blood vessels if they the blood vessels get blocked or uh, because of uh, atherosclerosis or plaque formation or if there is a clot then also the blood supply to the different parts of the body is inadequate then the plasma that means because of the bleeding there is fluid loss in a large volume then the body is body goes into shock okay so these three p's are important vital for adequate tissue perfusion next let us try and understand the pathophysiology of shock as we can see here okay so now all the cells and the tissues in our body requires oxygen and nutrients for their basic metabolic as the basic metabolic requirement now lack of blood flow means lack of oxygen lack of nutrients so there is inadequate tissue perfusion which because of which the cells goes into cell hypoxia then there is energy deficit cell goes into hypoxia then there will be less energy produced then what happens the cells they immediately they don't uh, die they switch on to anaerobic metabolism means in presence of oxygen they go for aerobic metabolism but when there is lack of blood flow or inadequate blood flow oxygen supply is less then they will to survive they switch to anaerobic metabolism when the cells go for anaerobic metabolism they produce a by product called lactic acid okay then usually normally our liver can deal with this lactic acid and it converts it into pyruvic acid but here our liver is also suffering okay then what happens this lactic acid starts building up in the blood okay which leads to lactic acidosis okay there is fall in ph which leads to metabolic acidosis then because of this the cell membranes they get more damage okay there is cell membrane dysfunction and failure of the sodium pump and then the intracellular lysosomes release will be there digestive enzymes all this okay so all this together worsens the condition okay so this we need to understand then all this to toxic substances they starts accumulating in the blood okay and then it le it worsens the condition the compensatory mechanism also fails and then multiple organs they began to dysfunction and then the body goes into the final stage of shock which is irreversible okay so that's the reason shock is a medical emergency and treating it identifying the signs and symptoms and treating it immediately is very important okay so hope this video has helped you in understanding what is shock why it is called a medical emergency what are the causes of shock and the pathophysiology of shock so if you find the content helpful then please uh, subscribe my channel and like and share my videos stay connected thanks for watching